Welcome back to PGCast, a production of HashRocket. I'm Jake Worth. In this episode, we're going to be looking at two new psql commands in Postgres 9.6 for displaying and editing views. If you haven't seen our introduction to database views, check out the link in the transcript. To recap, views are an abstraction that encapsulate the logic of complex queries behind a simple interface. Today, we're going to be looking at two new commands in Postgres 9.6, which help us to better and understand and change our views. To prepare, I've set up a sample database with two tables, employees and hometowns, and a view that joins them called employee hometowns. The script is included below. It's pretty straightforward to see what a view produces by selecting from it just like any other table. But what if we want to see the composition of a view? Well, we can display the view just like a table. But this is only part of the story. It only shows what the table returns, not how it is generated. Postgres 9.6 introduced a new command to address this very issue, slash sv, or show view. Let's try it out. So there's our view. Pretty cool. Use this on any view to see what it's made of, instead of browsing through migrations and script files. This API was designed to complement the existing command for showing functions. Here's that command on the function now. So this creates or replaces a function called now, which returns a timestamp with time zone. Great, so now we can see our views and understand their composition. But what if we want to edit our views too? Postgres 9.6 to the rescue. Replace the S with E and we have our edit command. This will open up an edit buffer in your default text editor. Editing is interesting and it has some definite edge cases. One thing you can certainly add are columns. So let's do that and see the result. So now we can see that our view includes a column for the country. Changing the view name is problematic though, because if we look at the SQL output from our previous command, it creates or replaces a view based on its name. And so changing the name will just create a new view with the new name. So let's change that name. Now we can see that we have two views instead of one. Finally, we can't remove or rename columns that are returned by the view. Case in point. So we'll remove the, the country column that we just added. And we get an error, cannot drop columns from view. Why isn't this possible? Well, let's consult the Postgres docs. The new query must generate the same columns that were generated by the existing view query. That is the same column names in the same order and with the same data types, but it may add additional columns to the end of the list. The calculations giving rise to the output columns may be completely different. In the case where you must rename a view or its columns, just drop the view and then create it again. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.